We begin with explosive new allegations in the Kristen Smart case. The family claims Ruben Flores and two others removed Kristen's remains from his home. News Channel 12's Dave Alley is live with what we've learned. Dave. Uh, we're just outside the law office of James Murphy, the Arroyo Grande based attorney who has represented the Smart family for more than 20 years. Now, today he filed a wrongful death civil lawsuit against Ruben Flores, the father of Paul Flores, who is the man accused of killing Kristen Smart. Murphy telling me in an eye opening interview that he is suing Ruben Flores for, quote, everything he's got uh, for his role in helping cover up the murder of Kristen Smart and also for removing her body more than one occasion. What they did, they owe the Smart family everything they ever earned in their miserable lives. Attorney James Murphy is coming after the Flores family, filing a wrongful death lawsuit against Ruben Flores Thursday morning. He's being sued for everything that he owns. For his role, according to the lawyer, in covering up the murder of Kristen Smart. Ruben Flores buried Kristen Smart's body in a hole in the side of his yard and sat there for 24 years and 11 months drinking his morning coffee up on that deck without a care in the world. Murphy says Smart's body was buried under the deck of Ruben Flores' Arroyo Grande home from the night she disappeared until February 9, 2020, just days after San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's investigators searched the property. He got scared. He knew they're on the, on the hunt for him. They were on his property looking. They couldn't get into locked and closed areas. Four days later, he moved the body. With help. Help from two unidentified people, Murphy lists in the suit. He identifies them in the interview as ex-wife Susan Flores, Paul Flores' mother, and her boyfriend, Mike McConville. And we have evidence that they, the two of them, showed up at Ruben's house and worked throughout the night in an area under the deck. Causing the smart family, according to the civil suit, intentional infliction of emotional distress. If you kill their daughter and hide her body so that they suffer, in agony and misery for 25 years, you owe them the world, you owe them everything you have. And that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get their money. Murphy emphasizes the smarts are not interested in the money, only in finding their daughter, something he's been trying to help them achieve as well, pointing out he's been working on it all the way back since 1996. I don't believe that you should hurt somebody as badly as you've hurt this family and get away with it. I want to pile on another level of misery and suffering that these people deserve to experience. Now, so far, we not have, we've not been able to re reach a, an attorney uh, that represents Ruben Flores. Uh, we have reached his criminal uh, attorney who told us today that he has no comment on this civil lawsuit. That's the latest from here, reporting live at Arroyo Grande on News Channel reporter Dave Alley. Big new developments today, Dave. Thank you very much. Our coverage of the Kristen Smart investigation continues on air and online. There you can read about the lawsuit filed today. You can also catch up on all of the latest court hearings in the case. Just head to our mobile app or website, nc12hometeam.com.